What's up guys? This is Cashin here with the brand new Guild Wars 2 video. Now this is going to be interesting because it's actually not a Guild Wars 2 day, but it is a Let's Play-ish. Um, the reason I have not done a Guild Wars Let's Play yet is because, well, frankly, and to be completely honest with you, my computer is shit. <laughs> So, I can't really give you great gameplay on it yet. Um, I do plan on doing that, just not at this current time. As you can tell, it's just really shitty looking. And uh, if I'm going to play my favorite series, I feel like I should do it in a manner where I'm going to actually enjoy myself. So, I want to actually wait until I get a new computer before I do my uh, Let's Play of this game. Now, the reason why we are playing uh, today is because a friend of mine, a, another buddy of mine that plays this game, who's also a big YouTuber, said, hey, there is a lot of content that just came out and you need to play it for yourself. So I thought, I'll give it a try. And essentially, uh, we don't know what it is. All we know is that, or well, at least I don't know what it is. All I know is that you have to kill some, um, yet yeah, you get, it, it's a loot item that you get for killing bandits. So, we gotta find a good area where I could kill off some bandits. Two inches later. Let's go ahead and do this event real quick. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of activity going on in, in, um... There's a lot of activity going on in this game recently with the new patch. Um, a lot of my friends have been telling me, holy shit, you need to come back. There's so much to do. And the reason that I stopped playing, uh, I didn't really stop playing. It was more of I just took a break. But uh, essentially the reason I took a break was because it felt like there wasn't really anything to do. I felt like it pretty much played as much of uh, Heart of Thorns as I had wanted to and then all of a sudden uh, my friends are telling me hey there's so much you need you, you need to come back and do so I thought eh, I'll give it a try Yoink. let's see here oh man it's been a while since I fought in quest Yeah, this is really the the reason I have not been really wanting to do a let's play is because it's so choppy. Um, I can't really play the game with high graphics. I have to play it on low resolution and just it. I mean, I I would love to. Don't get me wrong. It's just this is not how I want to do it. Um, but every once in a while, I don't mind doing videos like this where I just kind of chill out and relax in the world and kind of enjoy myself a little bit. Yeah, I have so many plans for videos. Um, right now, we're still going through... I'm, uh, I'm working on the Jormag video. Um, so that's, that's going to be the next one uh, that comes out as of right now. Uh, me recording this I'm working on that uh, that should be next Tuesday I think uh, not not the Tuesday that this video comes out it'll be a couple Tuesdays back so this gives you an idea of how long I record ahead of time but essentially I'm gonna go over here because uh, I know where to find bandits over here hopefully I'll get it but um, essentially what I have planned is that I'm going to do lore videos where I talk about 
essentially first we're doing the elder dragons so after i talk about the elder dragons i'm going to talk about the races of tyria the main ones that you get to play as and then from there um i've been really deciding uh or, well i i've been really uh conflicted with what i should do mainly because i don't know i don't know what would be considered um what would be a good progression from, you know, we, we start, this is, look at that. This is exactly why I'm not playing this game yet. It's not even showing water. <laughs> oh, God. I know I'm going to look back on this video and I'm just going to be absolutely mortified with the quality. Look at that. Doesn't even show the door or the wall. Oh shit. I really do wonder what would happen if I just bumped up my graphics on this game, see what, what it would look like. Let's do that. Why not? A few moments later. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. So yeah, um, what I was saying before was I don't know what would be the proper progression from uh, going from Elder Dragon to uh, the Elder Dragons to the races of Tyria. Uh, I could easily do the gods of Tyria, talking about um, the human gods, talk about uh, what else, uh, the Great Alchemy, the Pale Tree. There's so much I can do. So th there's all that that I'm putting into consideration. Uh, and then at some point, like uh, a few videos back, I said I wanted to do, um, I wanted to talk about how years work in uh, Guild, War Guild Wars 2 lore. Like uh, when I say AE, uh, after Exodus, what does that mean? You know, there's so much that I have planned to do that I just haven't had time to do because I have so much already planned to do. It's it's amazing. Just, I'm very excited. Let's put it that way. There's so much that I have planned and so much that I just... Now, what I'm playing right now is a Reaper, which is a Necromancer. This was actually the very first character I ever played in uh, Guild Wars. Like, of all Guild Wars, uh, even from the first game, I always started off as a Necromancer. Yeah, my god. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very sad with what's going on with my laptop. It's... I, I feel like it's dying and um, it just gets really really slow and it's very tedious to make videos because um, I have to record multiple times just to get it right and then on top of that oh yeah we actually got one of these already that we needed the um, encoded orders this is what you need for the new content that just came out um, but yeah, basically, the, my issue is that my laptop isn't working the way it used to. Um, and it's only been recently I have done everything in my power to figure out what it was. And I really don't know. I honest to God don't know. I just think it's... I've had it since 2009 and it's time for an upgrade. I just don't have the money to upgrade. Um, so yeah, it's, it's sad because I've... Oh, fuck. Okay, it's that saboteur uh, right there. I hate those bombs. So yeah, um, at some point I do plan on getting myself a new laptop. Or actually, no, not a laptop. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm actually planning on getting myself a um, full-on gaming machine instead of a laptop getting myself a PC because as much as I love having a laptop it really doesn't help when I'm trying to play hardcore games it really doesn't that looks valuable. Uh, 
All right. So we actually got what we needed, so I'm just going to go ahead and back out of here real quick. Now, a lot of people have asked me, um, which is really weird because nobody actually comments on my videos. They always private message me, which I don't have a problem with at all. Um, it's actually, I like it. I actually kind of like it in a way that um, I get to be a little bit more personal with the message. But at the same time, um, I like to wake up in the morning and go to my uh, comment, my uh, YouTube comment section and just look at everything. But um, a lot of people have asked me my opinion on Guild Wars 2. Um, and I actually plan on doing a video about it, but to sum up my idea, I'll do it right here. Um, my biggest issue with Guild Wars 2 is that I am such a Guild Wars fan and I've played all of the games. Um, and what's really upsetting me is that they, uh, this, this series, uh, this franchise has so much lore to it and so much that you could do with it. And they're not doing anything with it. it, it like with the, everything you can get, everything you can do. They're not doing a single thing that they could do. Like, there's so much more they... How do I put it? There's so much more that they could do with the series that they're just not doing. That, um... It really makes me sad. Like, there's there's some callbacks. There's some callbacks from the original game. But there's nothing that really... Has really piqued my interest yet. Um, and I've been playing since 2012... When it first came out. So you know. Alright. So when you kill some, uh, a bandit. Alright. With this new patch that's out. Or the new update. You get something called an encoded order. Uh, and it says this encoded message must be of some importance. Bring it to the Shining Blade Officer Raylan. What was that? Oh it was probably. He has a bot maybe. Um, Blade Officer Raylan in Divinity's Reach. So let's go to Divinity's Reach then. <clears throat> so yeah, like, uh, uh, what I do like right there, just alone, is that they made a callback from the original game. Uh, The Shining Blade, I could do a whole video about that, but there was something... In the first game, okay, uh, where there was a uh, more like a civil war. It wasn't really a regular war. It's more of a civil war, and it was between the Shining Blade and the White Mantle. And so, what you wh when you first enter the game, uh, or, or when you get to this arc in the game, um. You work with the white man or the white mantle, and they tell you how the shining blade are just really evil people, and that they're going to rule everyone and all this other stuff. What you end up realizing as you progress is that the bad guys are actually the white mantle, and so um, it was really I, I loved that exchange. That was fantastic to me. It felt like. Um, it was something that really, really, how do I explain it? it? It really sunk with me as a child when I first played the series. I don't think uh, sunk with me is a good phrase of that, but it really, that, that really stuck to me. Um, that whole arc really did uh, stick with me as a child. And so um, I'm so glad that now... As an adult, I can hopefully, <laughs> I don't want to get my hopes up, but hopefully I can relive those moments um, through Guild Wars 2. That's what I'm hoping, because when I, when I saw this uh, just a moment ago, when I read that, um, and I saw the Shining Blade, I just thought, well, maybe... Maybe we'll get some excellent content that has some uh, lore to it. If we did, that would be just absolutely fantastic.
All right, so that would be Mist Warrior. She must be over here then. Rayline, there we go. The Shining Blade provides light where darkness threatens. I found this encoded message. Do you know anything about it? Dark times call for sacrifice. I'm familiar with a few of the of uh, the deciphers. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm familiar with a few of the ciphers used by criminals. May I inspect it? Of course. Give it some time to load because fuck this laptop. <laughs> These orders allow us to illuminate the enemies of Krita, thriving in the shadows. Take this bounty notice. The Shining Blade will reward you for your assistance. Okay. Okay. By the order of Shining, blah, blah, blah. The enemies of click to view the player. Okay. Okay. Mmm. All right, so I guess this is some kind of, oh God, if we become a bounty hunter, this is going to take up so much of my time. <laughs> I just realized that if, if we get to go around and it's just going to be like a month's worth of content where I get to go around and be a bounty hunter for a while, just taking the heads of everyone. Oh my God, I would enjoy that so much. All right, so it should be somewhere around here. All right, do I have like a horn or something? Because I feel like I'm not moving fast enough. Twelve seconds later. It's been a while since I played, as you can tell. My uh, laptop is dying over here. I could just feel. I could. I just hear the fan going off, and I'm just like, Jesus. All right, let's do that. That's you. It's a little bit better. I am death incarnate. The um the very interesting thing and I The very interesting thing, and I wonder how they're going to play this out. I'm sorry, my laptop is not... It has to think. Um, the very interesting thing about what they're doing right now is that they're adding the... And although I don't have a problem with that, I wonder what does that have to do in, term, uh, in terms of the story itself. I'd like to, I really want to know basically why that is, uh, why they're adding that. That would be very interesting for me to, uh, figure out. Uh, I wonder if it has to do, it, it, it obviously has to do with Living World Story. That I can tell you for sure, but I honest to God don't know what's gonna happen. I'm actually, it's actually very nice to, get this excited over this game because I really do love this game it's just there's not much to actually you know I can't really get excited over this game anymore so even if we get a little bit of that I am happy about that hello nice to see you all right not who I'm looking for I guess let's see here Mm, okay. I'm a little off, but I am in the general area. I just gotta go up here a little bit. Oh, man. Let's see what we got here. Supply crate. I'm more... I'm Really, to be honest with you, I'm just happy that there's content to be had in this game.
stack of boxes containing food foodstuffs. Whoever left this here can't go away. Stake the area out. Alright. Later. It must be some sort of timed event. This is probably a marker and um as certain it, there's a timer on it and at some point he's going to turn up. We'll have to deal with him. Let's go ahead and do this event. Oh man, one thing I really like about what Oh man. One thing that I really like about what they're doing here is that they're having us revisit these old areas that we haven't been to in forever and i really like that because i missed this area this was a fun ass area to play as uh when i first made this character this is literally the first place you ever went to uh as a human queensdale was the first place you'd go to if you don't know um so i love the fact that after all that i've been through you know um Defeating Zaitan, defeating uh, Morjamoth, and now, after all this time, here I am back in the area where I first started the game. To me, that is by far very interesting to me. Like, that just, it, 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 it's actually pretty freaking cool. So somehow I feel like I just got to wait here for a certain amount of time um, until we get to... Uh, I, I'm assuming he's just going to pop up. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh, well, fuck. I started this. Damn it. <laughs> uh, how did I know that was going to happen the moment I fought that veteran Oakenheart? Shit. Ooh. Ow. Ooh, that did some damage to me. This guy's a toughie. And then my group just gives the fuck up. Guys, if you're playing this game, don't fucking give up, alright? Just keep fighting. Because, I mean, if you can't win this, if you're not going to win this, and you, you might as well just... The thing is, I hate it when people just give up. Because you're not losing anything if you if you die. If you end up dying, you're not going to lose anything. Um, back in the day, when this game first came out, yeah, you would lose a lot. You would lose a shit ton of stuff. But nowadays, I mean, you don't even have to pay for your fucking armor to get repaired. So, there's no reason for you to give up. And you see how we're just whittling away at this guy? And at some point, we will beat him. So that person left. Just because the fight was, was taking too long, basically. Essentially, that's what it comes down to, is that this content is actually good and they just didn't want to do it and they thought oh it's not you know face roll easy so we shouldn't be doing it with only three people the beauty of this game is that at some point people pile on so we started it 
as just three, but now look at how many people are around us. You see that? We, we finally have numbers, so it's about just being patient and just whittling them down, you know? So now here we go, we've got ourselves a good little team and we're actually doing something to him. Like he's actually going down. And that's just the mentality, I guess, of uh, Guild Wars 2 players nowadays. Uh, the new ones, at least, is that, oh, if it's not face roll easy, then you shouldn't be doing it. Which is by far, you know, the worst way. That's, that's the worst type of gamer for me, at least. In my opinion, is that if you are just going to play because it's easy, there's no reason for you to play games. Because the whole point of playing games is it's supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to be fun. And there we go. We finally beat them. And that person... Yeah, that person was nowhere to be found. We can't win. We can't do this with three people. Well, we sure as shit did it. Krita's uh, trouble, Krita's uh, troubles are many, reaching back to antiquity. It's fortunate for our nation that we have heroes such as you willing to stand against villains. In recent days, there has been a gathering, a gathering whisper in the darkness, a marshalling of forces. The orders you in intercepted allowed us to take the fight to them, and for that, I'm grateful. Blah blah blah. Should you find any further enemy communications in the field, bring them to me, and we might keep a shining light upon evil. I'm so tired. I'm sorry, guys. If I'm a retard when it comes to reading, I apologize. All right. So there we go. What's this? An attachment note reads, until the last enemy of Krita Falls, we fight on. Open it up. What's in it? Food, food, that's pretty nice. Threshold achieved. So that was a bit of fun. I like that. It's, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like we're bounty hunters and we're going around Picking them off one at a time. I like that. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you'd like to see any more from me, go ahead and click on that previous video. However, if you've already seen that and you want to see something else, try this other series that I played. As always, guys, thank you so much for just being there for me and for the channel. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Uh, as always, guys, remember to spank that sexy subscribe button. And as always, be excellent to each other. Until next time.